Good evening from Boston Logan International Airport here in Boston, Massachusetts, United States of America. I just finished up eating, got to the airport about two hours or so ago, and I'm about to board my flight to Bangkok, Thailand. As many of you might know, or probably know, Thailand has some of the strictest entry protocols related to COVID-19, and this has been easily six, seven months in the process of trying to get into Thailand, get approved. Finally, finally, when they opened Test and Go in November, I applied, I got accepted, and now here I am, January 20th, finally going to Thailand. It's been a long time coming, I'm super excited, and I'm gonna bring you guys along for this journey, show you guys what it's like to get into Thailand right now. Other than all of the paperwork, all of the red tape that you need to do just to get the documentation to get past security and the check-in desk at the airport. When I land in Bangkok, I need to get a PCR test on arrival. I have to quarantine until I get those results. If that's negative, boom, I'm free to go. I can go explore Thailand. I can do whatever I want. I have to get another COVID test on day six that I'm in Thailand. And then if that's negative, then I'm like free and clear. I can stay for my 30 days visa free. If either of those tests comes back positive, I have to quarantine for 10 days. So fingers crossed that that really does not happen, um, but I'm insured to the teeth. So if it does happen financially, it should be covered for whatever comes my way. I ultimately just decided basically like, is it worth the risk going to Thailand right now? You need to make that decision for yourself. But for me, someone who does this for a living and vlogs for a living, um, a 10 day quarantine really wouldn't set me back. So I'd rather quarantine in Thailand than sit around doing nothing in the United States. So with that said, let's get on our flight because I think I'm boarding now actually and head to Doha for a 12 hour flight. Let's go. Purposely booked an exit row seat on this flight so I could actually give myself a little extra leg room for the 12 hours to Doha. Pro travel tip, if you can't afford business class, buy the exit row seat and you'll at least buy yourself some extra leg room and a place to stand on the plane. Don't do it yet. Thank you, just keep boarding pass out. Hello, how are you, sir? Hey, how's it going? Hi. So just boarded, got all this leg room here, and pretty excited about it, actually. <laughs> um, I'm hoping this is not a full flight, because if it's not, I can always jump back to get a whole row to myself or something, but uh, we'll just see. So I just switched rows, because I saw an open row in the back with all three seats open, and I am just trying to see if they called boarding complete yet, so I can get this whole row to myself for this 12-hour flight. <laughs> I think we made it. I think everyone's on the plane. Uh, so happy about this. 12 hour flight. Didn't get any footage there coming off the jetway because I got yelled at by some like airport police officer that I can't have my camera out for whatever reason. Um, but we made it, we're in Doha. So halfway to Bangkok, sort of one more flight. Um, right now I'm gonna try and find my gate. I have like two hours or so um, before my next flight. So just gotta figure out where I'm going. For whatever reason, the boards here are like super confusing to read. All right, so there it is, gate A6. I think I'm boarding in like half an hour. 
So maybe I'm gonna try and get a coffee or something and probably just head to my gate. I'm just like always so impressed when I fly through this airport, just like how modern it is, how clean and just, it's just amazing. It's like far and away above anything we have in the United States. Like it's just such a nice airport. So this is actually a lot busier than I thought it would be. For whatever reason, I thought there would not be a lot of people going to Bangkok, but it seems like there are quite a few. This is just economy class boarding, so I don't know. Thailand, which is amazing given how long I've been trying to do this. I had a flight booked before COVID two years ago. I was going to Thailand and then COVID happened. I need to do as far as like having more negative PCR tests and getting through all of this stuff in Thailand but I like cannot express in words how excited and happy I am that I am back in Southeast Asia like like as soon as you step off the plane it's just like just an immensely gratifying feeling to be back in this part of the world so all right um, I don't know, I kind of figured there would be like people in hazmat suits like coming onto the plane to get us. That's that's actually what I thought was going to happen. No such event so far though. So, all right. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to put this down. All right guys, sorry I didn't really vlog any of that process. I, I didn't want to like mess with filming their whole COVID entry requirement thing. and pissing someone off like right as I'm about to enter the country but I will explain it all when I get to my hotel so I just got a sim card just got some cash out of the ATM the sim card was about uh, 600 baht which is like 20 bucks US uh, which is kind of a lot but it was for a month now I'm just waiting for my bag check this out over here too the Sun is literally just coming up and this is like what it looks like right outside of the airport Reminds me a lot of Hanoi. As soon as I get my bag, I'm meeting my driver who is associated with the hotel. He has to take me to the hospital. I have to get a PCR test. And then I have to go to the hotel and I have to quarantine at the hotel until I get the result of that PCR test, which will take 12 to 24 hours. It's pretty early in the day. It's like 7 a.m. right now. So maybe I'm hoping I get it back tonight. And if it's negative, I can go out and get dinner. If it's positive, I'm fucked and I have to quarantine here for 10 days in an unknown and undisclosed location. <clears throat> but let's, let's really not hope that that happens. Yes. Nicholas? Yep. 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 Okay. 
Just waiting for my hotel pickup. Wow, this is crazy. If you come out and they have all these desks with like, each desk has like multiple hotels <laughs> with a guy who calls the driver of, any, of that particular hotel. Um, this is actually like pretty streamlined at this point. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of people taking pictures. I think uh, they're excited that this program is happening and potentially working. just got to the hospital where I'm gonna get tested and similar to the United States it's just like a drive-through test just drive through do the test and go on your way please should be pretty quick wild absolutely wild Hello. Hello, may I have your passport? Yes, you may. Little three, no? Little three. Check your name first. Yeah. yeah. Yep, correct. Okay, uh. uh <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. <sighs> it's always such a pleasant experience. You need me to carry any of that? Okay. Just, just do that. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Yes, sir. Check in, right, sir? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Take care. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Hello. Just the signature. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Let me know today uh, in the afternoon. Set. Okay, okay, all right. Thank you so much. Okay, great, thank you. See you soon. <sighs> okay, I hope to fucking god that that test is negative. Oh, this mask. Holy shit. I've been wearing this mask for 20 hours. 20 hours. Uh, I don't know where my room is. So it's probably this way. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I got to get this mask off. Oh my god. 20 hours of an N95 on my face. So anyway, 
This is the room. I'm not allowed out until I have a negative COVID test. And if it's positive, then we'll, we'll take it as it comes. Um, I'm trying to get some more light in here so you can actually see me. How does this work? Oh, it's that. I'm stupid. Okay, I don't know. Um, oh, there we go. There we go, okay. So this is a suite. You have like bed, work area, TV, and then like it comes with this little like kitchenette area here. So, I mean, there's like a hot plate. So like technically I think like I could like cook here. Yeah, there's like pans, look at this. There's like pans and there's like one pan and one pot. That would be enough for me for 10 days if I had to quarantine here. Um, so, some glasses and stuff, a couple changs in the fridge, which I'm gonna have. I'm having a beer at 6.30, it's, it's 8.30 in the morning I'm having a beer. Um, I, don't, I don't even care what they cost. Okay, so right now I'm gonna shower. She said my COVID test should be back like by this afternoon, um, which would be great then I could like actually go outside and do stuff. But I'm not allowed to leave my room at all until I get that COVID test. So um, basically what I'm gonna do is take a shower and um, get my life in order. And then I'll explain uh, like the whole process of like what I had to do to get into this country right now and what I just went through after landing. Um, I don't know how relevant it is, to be honest, because they stopped the test and go, which is what I came in on, and I'll explain what that is in a minute. Uh, but um, the girl that I bought my SIM card from told me that they're gonna they're, they're reinstating the test and go in February. Who knows? Okay, so it's the next morning now. Um, I got my COVID test results pretty quickly yesterday, actually, about four hours after I got here, I had my results and they were negative. So after that, I was allowed out to kind of do basically whatever I want. I could essentially go anywhere in Thailand at this point because my on arrival PCR was negative. But the basic process of how this all works, and this is probably going to be relevant because I read yesterday that Thailand is actually going to reopen the test and go scheme starting February 1st. Today it's currently January 23rd. So um, so basically there's a website you register on, it's called Thailand Pass, and you have to put in, in addition to all of your demographic information, passport, your COVID vaccines, upload pictures of your passport, COVID vaccine card. You also need to put in information about your insurance plan that you have to have that covers COVID-19. And you also need to have um, your hotel accommodation for at least one night if you're doing the test and go, and the PCR test that is included in the hotel rate. Um, once you upload all of that to the site, You'll get a QR code if you're accepted that says quarantine exemption. And other than a PCR test before you come into the country, that's it. That's all you need to get into Thailand right now. Um, in addition to like your COVID vaccine card. So basically when I got off the plane yesterday, um, it was actually really streamlined. Got off the plane, immediately went and sat down um, on a bunch of plastic chairs with other people who were on my flight. I showed my QR code and um, my passport, my COVID card, and then it was checked. It was pretty quick. I went and I showed um, the same information to another woman at a checkpoint, and that was pretty much it. Um, they have a form that they will fill out on arrival, which basically says the day you get here, your passport number, where you're going, um, in Thailand and where you're staying, in addition to your seat number on the airplane, which is important because if you sit next to someone 
who tests positive on arrival, you will have to quarantine for 14 days. So if you can, on your flight into Thailand, it would behoove you to try and get a seat that is not next to any people. My flight from Doha was completely empty. And so almost everyone on the flight had their own row. And I originally had a seat next to someone, but I switched out of that seat because the plane was empty. And I had to tell them on arrival, I did not sit at the seat that's on my boarding pass. I switched. And so they made that clear on the form. Very, very important. Because if, like I said, you sit next to someone and they test positive, you're quarantining for 14 days. That doesn't apply to people in front of you or behind you, just to your left and right on the plane. Once I did all of that, I went through like their basically public health checkpoints and then I went to immigration. Um, immigration is going to want to see where you're staying after your one night of quarantine for test and go. You're staying at the same hotel. Like I'm staying at this hotel for five nights and so I didn't have to show them anything extra, but if you're coming in on test and go, you need to have the hotel for at least one night for your quarantine while you wait for your results. If you only booked it for one night, they're going to want to see where you're going after that first night. And that was it. I got a visa on arrival for 30 days. I'll probably extend it for another 30 days here, which I can do. That was it as far as like getting into the country. Once you get through immigration, there's ATMs, there's SIM card kiosks at the baggage area. So there's everything you need before you exit the actual airport, which is important because if you need like a food delivery app, like Food Panda or Grab, if you plan on um, having food delivery, which you should, because if you're quarantined, you should definitely use a food delivery app like Grab or Food Panda. And in order to do that, you need a SIM card. That's important because once you exit the airport, you're going to essentially be bombarded with stands associated with hotels in Bangkok, quarantine hotels. And you'll find your stand that um, is associated with your hotel because there will be representatives there. You just tell them what ho I'm staying at XYZ hotel and they say, okay, go to stand two or whatever. When you get to your stand, there'll be another person. They will call a driver. You will then exit out of the airport, physically out of the airport, meet your driver, and the driver will take you to whatever hospital you're getting your PCR test at. And it'll be a drive-through test. You just drive through, you get tested in the car, and then they take you right from the hospital to your hotel, and you stay in your hotel room until you get your result. If it's negative, you're good to go. If it's positive, you have to do 10 days of quarantine either in a hospital, an ASQ hotel, or a hospital, which is like a combination of a hospital and a hotel. It's a hotel, it's physically a hotel, but it's managed by a hospital. So the two really important things in all of this are one, get a SIM card before you exit to where all of those hotel representatives are, because once you do that, you won't be able to get a SIM card, you won't be allowed back in, and if you don't get a SIM card, you won't be able to use a food delivery app. Um, so it's really, really important that you get that SIM card. And number two, um, as far as insurance goes, make sure that the insurance policy you buy covers quarantine. Not every insurance does that. It's also probably like, for example, I have three insurance policies, one of which is local tie insurance, two of which are international travel insurance to cover me for literally every single scenario, whether I'm quarantined in a hotel, whether I'm quarantined in a hospital, like some insurances cover hospital quarantine, but not hotel quarantine. And so this can get very, very, very expensive if you have to quarantine here. So just do your research. You should definitely have at least one insurance policy that's local Thai insurance. The one I'm using is called AXA, A-X-A, um, because they're front party payers. Meaning if you have international travel insurance and you're quarantined, even if they cover it, you're still gonna have to pay up front and then get reimbursed later on. Whereas if you have Thai insurance, they will just pay for all the costs up front and you won't have to go through any lengthy and really quite annoying reimbur reimbursement process. That's the long and short of it. Um, I'm not really gonna go into details about like how to do the Thailand Pass application and how to get approved for that because that's not what I want this video to be. It's more, this is what's gonna happen once you actually physically land in Bangkok. I don't know if it's, this is the same if you're going to Phuket or something, but um, I'm in Bangkok, so all of this is applicable to Bangkok. Um, as far as getting a hotel that includes a PCR test, I actually physically contacted hotels in Bangkok because I couldn't find any of this online and I just f 
eventually found a hotel where I was able to get in touch with the manager on WhatsApp and pay for a quarantine package, which included my one night of quarantine, my driver from the airport, my PCR test, and then my driver from the hospital back to the ho or to the hotel. Same driver, but all of that is included in like a quarantine package. And then I actually just like all the other nights that I'm staying here, I just physically booked it on like agoda.com. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's everything you need to get into Thailand right now. Um, or, I'm sorry, that's everything that you're gonna need once you land in Thailand. If you have any questions about this process, um, just send me a message, link, put it in the comments below. I'm, I'm ha happy to answer. I'll answer any questions about it. Um, you can also send me a message on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram here. This has been a long and drawn out process. I'm pretty amazed that it all worked out, to be honest. Um, there's just so many loopholes that you have to jump through and um, it's pretty remarkable like to be sitting here and being able to just go explore Thailand. Um, didn't do a whole lot yesterday because I was just super jet lagged and just exhausted from this entire process, but um, today I'm gonna hit the city pretty hard, go to some markets and um, just start eating like literally everything I see. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. There's going to be a lot more content coming from Thailand. It's going to be a little bit different than my other content. It's going to be mostly vlogging style content just because I'm in Thailand for so long. So if you enjoy it, follow along and I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.